Right, so let's get going. Uh, let's open up Unity. It's done using twenty nineteen point two point nine point three. I'll, I'll wait till they fixed. Uh, three D project dungeons twenty twenty Feb create. We create a new project. It shouldn't be that hard for it to think about doing. Right. So what is the bare minimum we need to start making very cool dungeons? Well, I have developed my own procedural uh, I'm going to try and keep it down to the minimum. Right, the minimum. There's lighting. Don't you auto generate you? Um, what is the minimum stuff we need? I'm not going to do my alpha image to thing. I may cut. I may do that later. But right now. We're going to bring up the asset store. We'll put standard assets in for a start. That's as good a start as anything. And whilst we think about dungeons, right? Can more than what? Just you know, the more they fiddle with it, the harder it becomes to find the free stuff. Fine, thousands of assets. Standard assets. You want all this stuff that costs money? Right, okay. Standard assets, that one. Get it whilst we can. Ooh. Talk about nailing it to a version. If it still works. Right. This no longer works with your version. Right. <coughs> so let's see what we've got that we can get hold of. <coughs> The main reason for this is the first person controller. And I suppose if you want third person footsteps, that could be an issue. Thinking into the future, we probably want monsters. We want monsters and traps as well. They may be tricky to implement. Um, so, 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 the thing that I'm going to have to do is to, um, try and keep, keep on brief and not expand too far into lateral things, try and keep on the scope. And the scope is how to create lovely looking dungeons which we can then look at from a kind of 2D perspective on the top. But to do that you probably need the 3D stuff anyway. So we've uh, we were implementing that I think we've got that in. Mm. Other things that aren't right, first person. Do I need a, should we start, we might as well start as we do before, create 3D object terrain, this can be the terrain if all else fails and you fall through the world, right, uh, go back to inspector, terrain, edit terrain, 
grey layer. Should we have a grey layer or should we have a grey? Well, sand. Sand, and then we'll change its uh, brush size. So, I really appreciate it going into that mode. Right, and then we. Oh, it's in low opacity. Let's change that opacity up again. If we were trying to be care clever with it, we could have done all sorts of clever things with multi layers of opacity, but we're not. Just want that. We want character, first person controller, and up. And for me, this is. I really appreciate being able to, to enter the world to see how it looks from the perspective of the actual walking around business. But we'll get rid of the main camera, although to be fair, with the main camera we probably would want to rotate it 90 degrees. Oh, 90 there, and it. And 90, 0, 0, and move it. There's, if we're looking, we want to see what it looks like. Look at 10,000. So let's just see things. We're just trying to. Ooh. Oh, check the terrain. Oh, maybe it is. It is. It lost. That would be a map if we were trying to make a map as well. Uh, okay, so we've got our terrain. Let's focus in. Focus in. Right. Uh, we've got. It's all kind of. We've got the basic engine working now. The world is our oyster. Right, okay. So, how would we make a dungeon? Well, there's lots of ways to make dungeons. But we need to think of how do we do it as fast as, as possible within, within a, a certain amount of a budget. Right, so let's go to Asset Score again. I think. Well, the most important one for me is dungeon. Bring that up. Death corridor. That looks like fun. <laughs> okay. Be nice if it had um traps and everything. Anyway, we're getting distracted. Dungeon. Focus on dungeon. So good I actually bought it. <coughs> it's not cheap. So dungeon's the first thing we need to get because it's going to generate everything for us. We're going to update that. Um, so that's essential. We need dungeon. Uh, everything else we can probably get away without having. Um, I will talk you through in detail dungeon in, in a minute. And um, on video, we've got a video. Should I show you the video? Let's show you the video. Can't show you, there we go. That's great, thank you for that. I'm thinking it's something else there. Okay. 
choose what to play next. Well, I'd quite like to play this. Oh well. Look up Dungeon. I'll do that in a minute. So <clears throat> we're going to dive really deep into Dungeon. And Dungeon is a dungeon generator, but the thing is about that is that you don't get any um, you don't get very many actual assets. So if we now look at Dungeon. And search. Moldy, excuse me. I bought multi story. Um, I've grabbed some of the free stuff. Um, let's the big question is, is it worth buying multi-story dungeons? I mean, it's expensive. And it's... It's more, again, of interiors. I was very excited about this, but it really needs to be used in conjunction with Dungeon. I'm not sure if we really need that. Let's have a look at. Um, oh, let's go back again. I'm not sure if you need multi story dungeons to start with. It's not a bad idea to get, but again, this all starts adding up. Grab the free stuff. That doesn't cost you anything apart from time. Uh, it's the first car set, and there's a. See this dungeon? No, oh, it's gone. I thought I said free. In 3D. We could probably get away with 2D, but we're looking for 3D. And templates. And tools. Alright, um. Equip dungeon very good, decrepit dungeon light, cool. dungeon tools creator, creator. Uh, we've got some lovely free stuff here that will do similar stuff. Dungeon. That's really helpful. Items. Go through the free stuff. Grab what you, anything that takes your fancy. I'll probably have to come back to this. Ultimate low poly dungeon. Have a quick look at that. It's not, I don't think that's too bad. That's for free, mind you. Textures are alright. Um, Closer. If you need a labyrinth, you can use it. I mean. Okay, this does. <sighs> How far does it go? This is free. And it creates lovely. I think I'll grab it. I've got I've already got it, so it disappears. So that's definitely uh four traps cool. 
That's definitely an option, and it'll give you the floor plan. But we're looking for more textured stuff. Again, that's quite nice. It looks quite nice too. Let's have a quick look at that. I think we should download that. Oh, have I got it already? Yeah, purchase this item for free, sure thing. But the the main one we're going to focus on is the Dun Gen one. Well, I mean, it doesn't end. There's so many things you can do, but you've got to you've got to filter it down to. Okay, dungeon, fine. Now, village interiors, let's have a look. I don't know if this has covers dungeons. Village interior kit. I think this is just for. I'm not sure we get dungeon. Oh. I mean, they throw absolutely everything in this. So, I uh, purchased this. Yeah, I think we do, because the thing about the um, the village interior kit is, is this basically the art design is, is the carpet, so it just adds a bit of warmth. And it gives you so many objects to play with. I think it's Village Interior Kit and Dungeon. Those are the ones, and there's a lot of free stuff that we can get. Um, its interiors are important. It's, uh, it really sells it. Now, what was the other one I was looking at? Um, I imported it. We're going to import it. So, like I said, not cheap. So, village interior. This is going to take forever to import because it's so. I mean, they throw the kitchen sink at you. You get when you buy this one, buying full village interiors kit because then you have full. You have taverns and inns, catacombs and crypts, castles and cathedrals interiors. Ooh. Adventure. Let's look at that. This is the blueprint. Oh, oh okay, very nice. And it builds it all together for you. Be built out of the box. Fantastic. How many do you get? <laughs> okay, we get an auction. We get all. Oh, okay, all that. That's very nice. And what happens if we? Have a look at cemeteries. There we go. It's more special that for cemetery setups, just to save you from having to plonk everything down individually. Not quite. <coughs> That's not. It's not a dungeon as per se. I wonder if um. Who are these guys that do this? 3D Forge have done a, a dungeon hack. Come on, where are you? 3D Forge. Let's see what they've also got. I think it's one of their flagship ones. See a lot. See catacombs and all those are actually covered in the in the village interiors we've gone. No, actually that's surprising. So they don't. Village interiors covers an awful lot of other stuff. Highly budget sewer kit. One. I a dungeon circuit.
interesting green lighting and everything you can change that all mm. well uh, that's good moving on we're moving on away again away from subject so dungeon there are plenty of free ones uh but the dungeon let's bring up the dungeon um the introduction to dungeon then for for the next step but i think the two main ones are dungeon and village interiors and you can probably get away without village interiors but dungeon is is the key so let's import well we'll next step so to import dungeon i'm probably going to import dungeon tiers so there was a really cool uh sample with another one that i'm going to try and remember okay that'll do for now